Welcome everyone to geometry. We want to take uh, another look at section seven, which is uh, cylinders and spheres, I believe. Um, actually, it's circles and spheres. We talk about cylinders in here as well. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this section. All right, we've already seen uh, most of this section. We're just picking up at cylinders and cones to finish off the lectures for uh, this section. So we can actually think of uh, cylinders and cones as simply uh, prisms and pyramids where the base is a circle. So the definitions that we saw previously in this section, uh, we can, uh, or in the previous section, Yes, uh, we, we, can, uh, we can just use those definitions here where the base is a uh, circle. So we'll be working with uh, right cylinders and right pyramids, or cones rather. Uh, so that, that is, they're not oblique, right? They're not slanted at all. They're not kind of off kilter. Uh, this makes things just a little bit easier to work with, uh, keeps things basic for us, which is good. So the volume of a cylinder and a cone. Uh, these formulas you might already be familiar with, uh, and they are actually very similar to the formulas that we, we used for uh, um, prisms and pyramids. So the volume of a uh, prism was given by the area of the base times the height of the prism. And in this case, the area of the base, right, if it's a base with a circle, uh, if it's a base that is a circle, then the area of the base is simply given by pi r squared. So we replace a with pi r squared. Pi r squared times the height of the cylinder. And then for the cone, it's the same thing. The base is pi r squared. So uh, right, this is the formula that we used in the previous section, the area of the base times the height, one third of that quantity. And then we say, all right, well, the base area is I R squared times the height. And uh, right, we wanted one third of that. So that's, uh, that's pretty straightforward. For the surface area of a cylinder, you will encounter that in the exercises. So uh, watch for that there. All right, so that's cylinders and cones. Spheres, what is a sphere? Well, a sphere is pretty much the same thing as a circle, but it's in three dimensions instead of uh, two dimensions. So a sphere is the collection of points that are all a fixed distance away from a fixed point. So fixed point and some distance, the sphere of radius r centered at p at that point is all the points that are the fixed distance r away from the point p. Excellent. So it's again the same. It's uh, essentially exactly the same definition that we saw for the def, uh, for a circle, but we're working in space instead of on the plane. All right. The surface area of a sphere is given by area. Let's try that again. Area is equal to four times pi r squared. Now this informal proof using an orange, uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, again, I'm not sure uh, what Dr. Decker was going for there. Uh, I do I do have an orange with me, uh, but that doesn't do me any good if I don't know what the demonstration was supposed to be. Pretty, pretty orange. Doesn't do me any good. All right. Uh, the volume of a sphere of radius r is given by volume is four thirds pi r cubed. Excellent. 
And then the proofs of these formulas, uh, they typically use integration, uh, which are probably the, the methods that I would prefer, to be honest. Um, and they're, they're not that bad. If your calculus isn't uh, fresh in your mind, it might be difficult to follow at first, but reading through it, it'd probably be okay. Non-calculus-based proofs are available. Uh, however, they tend to be uh, uh, difficult still. So as it says here, they're not uh, often presented. We would like to take at a proof. Uh, however, we won't do that in this video. I'd rather leave it for a discussion during the lecture or, uh, um, or a video to be posted later. Uh, because I don't believe that it is necessary for you to complete the assignment uh, or the, the exercises, so we should be safe with this. If you have any questions about this, please let me know, uh, but we, will, uh, we can certainly talk about it uh, during the lecture, and that would be great. I hope you are all doing extremely well. I will see you guys again soon, uh, moving on into the next section, section eight. Uh, which actually begins the next unit of uh, of the course. So keep that in mind.